So exponential growth and decay refers to a amount of substance either growing or decreasing exponentially. Okay, so what the formula your book typically is going to be using is this n is equal to n with this little zero e to the rt. And what this n is is you can either hear it n naught, which means your or n sub zero. But either way, it's basically your initial amount. Okay. In general, I tend not to be so fond about this equation because it's just another equation for me to memorize. So what I want to do is just draw some comparisons, how it's exactly the same thing as our PERT equation, which we use for compounded continuously interest. Okay? So basically what we have is n naught or n sub zero is our initial amount, which corresponds directly to P, which is our principal or initial amount. We have e to the RT. Those are exactly the same. Rate isn't exactly as it was like with a percent, like we only had interest, it's 4%, 0.04 goes in. It's a little bit more abstract, it's a little bit typically a complicated number, but it's still going to be a rate that relates to this problem. T is still time for our exponential growth. It could vary, it could be in days, hours, whatever it is, but it's still just the time. And this term by itself on the left is just going to be the ending amount, okay? So, it's another equation, but it's really the exact same thing as PERT, which we already know. Okay, the one other thing we need to talk about is the distinction between exponential growth and decay. And that's really easy as well. Exponential growth means something is getting bigger, okay? You think of the whole scenario with rabbits multiplying rapidly, that's exponential growth, okay? And how that actually pans out is if this R, this rate, is going to be positive, then our, ter our terms are growing, we're getting bigger. If this R is negative, then our terms are going to be getting smaller. Okay, that'll be decay. So exponential growth and decay. It's a different formula, but it's really exactly the same as our PERT formula, just some different letters thrown in the mix.